As a biology and chemistry teacher, I always placed special emphasis on the environmental education of my students. And I wanted to raise awareness of the environmental problems and especially the correspondence between our actions and the consequences. When my quilt was created in uh, 2014, scientists already have been raising and waving the red flags to warn us of the rapid changing of our environment. Now, this warning is even more severe with this pandemic telling us that we need to change. The idea of this quilt came from a dream when I saw this beautiful woman, this beautiful lady, whose locks of hair represented the different corners and regions of the world. I gave these locks of hair different colors to represent our uniqueness and diversity. And I applied different shades of these colors to the locks of hair as a background. And then I uh, selected different cultural and traditional and natural characteristics to each region and applied them onto the background. There is Japan and China on the right, and on top there is Middle East and South America, Australia, Africa, Europe, North America, Alaska, and India. And I emphasized Alaska a little more because of a personal experience. I spent two years in Alaska, and the first year I was there, it was so warm mm -hmm. that the snow started to melt in the middle of the winter. Native people said it wasn't usual and it was not right. That year was 1992, almost 30 years ago. The white lock of the hair is Hungary, where I come from. I applied a beautiful traditional embroidery design to it from Kolocha. The red um, lock on the top is Tibet. I applied the powerful mantra of Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva of compassion. And it says, Om Mani Peme Hung. And the face, the face is white because it represents the ice cap on the face of our earth, the ice cap that is fading away. And I just hope this face will not disappear and our children can see her smiling too and call her Mother Earth their home too. <laughs>